It's actually great to have students learn by playing a game. We were playing the Innovate game by IBM. I was pretty impressed because I wasn't expecting it to be in 3D. Awesome, you know, video game era. I game a lot, so if I could sit at home, you know, and game away and learn about operations management at the same time, that would help. Traditional methods are harder on professors because you have to attract attention. One thing that's also a challenge when you're lecturing is how do you draw the class in so they're not sort of falling asleep? How do you engage them? How are you making them think during real time? But in gaming, you know that students are already involved in a fun environment through the games. And to be able to play the game, you have to be engaged. I mean, there's not really an option of falling asleep. It's a lot more interesting, and it kind of gets you thinking how the process works. If you change the business process, what impacts do you see in the end result? The students can see the diagram, and they see that there's all these numbers in the background, and they change the diagram, and something else happens, and there's some ability to make decisions based on that. The simulation was a little more interactive. It allowed you the opportunity to kind of play around with different variables and see different outcomes and kind of learn through doing. You kind of get to know like how a company actually works. You show students abstract business process module diagrams and for them to see how that might be used at a company is a big leap. After this, it'll be easier to explain how business processes are used in companies. I mean, that's one thing that I can lecture or tell my ears fall off and you can't convey like what are companies actually doing, how are they actually using these things. In a lecture, you understand, you hear what the professor is saying, but in your mind's eye you can't picture it. I think the game, the interactive, the level of interactivity in the game helped you to actually get a, f a solid feel for the concepts in the class. Several of the things that are in the background of the game are things we'll talk about later in the course. It can be used in multiple stages, so it's a good introductory game like we did this time. You can also utilize this at the end of the course to just to summarize the overall operations. You see that IBM is using this and understand how a company might use some of these diagrams to actually make decisions is really useful. So I think that's very exciting for students to be able to see that in the classroom. I won the game! I got fireworks!